Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey, everybody, thanks for joining us on today's video. You know, the Mach 1 is truly one of those legendary Mustangs. When you can get one done in candy apple red with a four speed, all set up and ready to go, it's pretty cool. So let's walk around a little bit. We'll check out the car. We'll see things like the quality of the paint. We're gonna look at a couple things around here also that uh, maybe you forget to ask because your daily driver has it automatically. You might not uh, have thought to ask about that when you're looking at muscle cars out there. So when you're looking at these cars here, we try to make sure you can see everything that's going on. Uh, we've gone through the cars front to back for, uh, for marker lights to be working. Okay, turn signals, things like that. That other places, that's not what you're gonna get when you get one of those cars. You know, we've made sure the seat belts are bolted in. As crazy as that seems, you know, there's sometimes we've seen cars where the seat belts are just laying there on the seat. Um, uh, let's see, what else do we do? The, 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 the brakes we go through, the belts, the hoses, uh, fuel lines, brake lines, we make sure all that stuff's working and correct. We change the oil on every car, the coolant's checked to be uh, at the right place, and antifreeze is in there also. So uh, when you get this car, it comes off the truck, it is ready to go. Anyway, come on up, let's look at some paint real quick. Now let's check out the quality here. This is what I'm talking about. When you see paint like that, you should be able to read everything. If you're getting pictures off the internet, those pictures should be crystal clear. You should be able to see the kind of shirt he's wearing, the car parked next to it, what the brand is, and what the labels are. If there's any fuzziness at all to leaves on a tree, that's not great paint. And you know what? It doesn't, uh, it doesn't show up. Uh, in pictures, but it definitely shows up in video, and here you can see whether paint's good or not. Okay, make sure you get that uh, up front. Okay, blacked out like it's supposed to be. 351 callouts here, and uh, under the hood's a pretty stout 351 that's been built nicely. All right, let's take a peek under the hood. As you know, this is kind of where all the chit chat stops, and that's when you get the nice detail under here. All nicely done, right air cleaner, a couple of maybe small incorrect parts in here, but uh, I have to tell you that this motor here is definitely not stock. Way more power, backed up that big uh, top loader four speed, and the factory nine inch rear in the back, uh, this thing rolls down the road. And when, you've, uh, and when you're rowing that shifter and the RPMs are rising and falling each shift, it's, uh, it's really cool. So nicely painted and detailed here, uh, nice new radiators, um, electrical systems all been updated high performance fuel pressure regulator, big coil here. We can kind of hide some of those things if you really wanted us to. We can move them to a couple other places and nobody would ever see them. So uh, let us know if you want to do that. Some people love the look of it because it really screams high performance. Made sure the horns work, the turn signals work, the marker lights and parking lights work. Just really nicely done under here. And I will say this to you, this is kind of a cool feature that most cars can have happen. This car here could easily have a shaker hood in it if you wanted to. It didn't come to the factory that way, but I'm not sure you really care because the shaker hood never really devalues the car. It always adds more value to the car and always looks great. And the fact of the matter is, these cars come with it already ready to go. You see, it's already cut out from the factory. And then it comes with a trim plate kit. Cut that out, get the all-new air cleaner that goes on there with the shaker. Trim ring goes around where you made the cut, and bam, it's really done. We do that here. Uh, or you can get it done when you get the car at your place, okay? All right, come on over here for a second. I'll show you a couple things. This is nice, fresh set of Magnum 500 wheels. You know, these are nice because the Mopar wheels that come usually come with a trim ring that's in there and it's a silver center. This is nice here because it's all chrome. Uh, and inside there, what you can't see is powered disc brakes. We forget to ask about that because these cars didn't come standard. Even though they were muscle cars, they came mostly with drum brakes. This car has powered disc brakes and also has one nice feature that we definitely forget to ask about, and that's power steering. The car has power steering. It makes for a much nicer drive, and uh, especially when you're going to try to park something. So the next time you're trying to park your car, turn your car off while it's moving a little bit and then stop it and then see if, uh, uh, if you can move that wheel so easy. It's not so easy and the power steering makes it really a lot better. Let's check out some of the style. So you get this great looking body here with the awesome Mach 1 call outs, the blacked out hood, the hood scoop here, nice here, right? Front and rear spoilers on there. New chrome, new stainless. We uh, had to order the right, uh, we, ordered, we wanted to upgrade this gas cap because for some reason it just doesn't seem to fit the rest of the car. So it's missing the, uh, uh, the other piece that we're waiting on. So I just wanted you to see that. Not that we forgot about it. But look, it's all nice and brand new. Okay, great tips that are back here. All right, let's take a peek in the trunk. This Mach 1 callout's really nice. 
if I'm not mistaken, I think it's reflective stripes too. Okay, trunk's all detailed. You got a nice mat in here. You got your jack wrapped up in, uh, in its own package so it doesn't rattle. Uh, we do have a spare tire cover for it. Uh, for some reason we missed that, but that's just us and that'll be on there by the time uh, somebody takes delivery of it, okay? Gas tank's new. It's all splatter painted inside. Gaskets are all new. Jacking instructions. Those kinds of things that make for, uh, when you go to a show, the kinds of things they look for. Enough about the outside. How about we uh, take a peek inside, kind of see uh, uh, the cockpit and see what that's all about. All right, here's always a good sign. A good sign for a decent restoration is that the, like, the footwell lighting is working. Right now, the footwell lighting is working. This car's showing 7,270 miles on it. I don't know if that's been, since it's been restored, but uh, that's the information that, uh, that we were given, and I'm passing it on to you, okay? New carpet, new mats, new dash. It's got that awesome three-spoke wheel. It's got the original AM radio in it. You may say, AM radio, ugh. yeah, but it's all authentic, man. It's got the Mach 1 call out here. And what we can do is we can put a nice digital sound system in the glove box for you and hide it. This way we keep the whole dash stock and it looks great. It's got gauges in here. It's got the alternator gauge, oil pressure, fuel, temps, all that good stuff. Nice, even the keyhole is working for the light up of that. But enough about, uh, enough about my talking. How about uh, I start it for you so you can hear what it sounds like. You know, in closing up this car here in particular, a red four-speed uh, Mustang with a built 351 in it is an awesome piece. Enough said, look at the car. It's got great looks, it's got great lines, a lot of updates have been done to it. It's really a really nice driving car on top of it. Don't forget you got the power disc brakes, you got power steering, um, and some really nice stuff that makes it a lot more comfortable to drive, like the radial tires and, and what have you. Trunk's been detailed, engine compartment is detailed, car's ready to go, find a way find a way, find a way to get uh, this car in your life, I guarantee you. Smiles on your face, you have a great Friday on your way home from work, rowing through the shifter uh, as you're leaving the office. Anyway, call us, 301-816-1000, we'll tell you all about it.